What's up, YouTube? Today I am customizing a pair of Avengers Black Widow vs. Captain America Air Force Ones. If you like watching these customizing videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below as to what you are currently working on or which Avenger you would customize on a pair of Air Force Ones. As these are straight from the factory, I need to first remove the factory finish. Gloves are recommended for this part as you will be using acetone, nail polish remover, or in this case, I'm using the Angelus Professional Leather Prepare and Deglazer. You need to be very thorough with this part. Remove that finish, remove that shine as thoroughly as possible. This way the paint will properly adhere to the shoe. So while I don't mask Vans or Converse, I always mask Air Force Ones, always, because any bit of paint will stain the rubber soles. It's not as easy to wipe off as Vans or Converse, it will stain. And I also like to mask the inner sock liner. This is up to you, a lot of customizers don't do this part, but I am messy and I am fast, so I just like to... Just be as careful as I can from the start. Now I found these little cups at my local dollar store here in Japan. And I think they're for like salad dressings, I found them in the condiment section, but I like to use them for my paint as I am going to mix a duller additive in with the paint. This way I have my color set and it will be the exact tone I need for touch ups. While it's not necessary to paint all of the leather edges, I like to do it just so it looks more complete in the end. I can now put my blue duller mix paint away for later as I will need it for touch up throughout these pair of customs. Now all the paints I'm using are straight from the bottle. This is a navy blue and I will be also using a gift box blue.
If you've been watching some of my other YouTube videos, you see that I frequently use Sorol transfer paper for my line work. Here I am using a piece of the blue Sorol transfer paper and you can find the link down below in the description. I printed and cut out Captain America from the waist up and I am just going to trace the outline of his body using a color pencil. I am painting a light blue base coat just so I can better see my outlines. While the blue maybe only needs three to four coats for it to look solid, the red on the other hand will need six to seven coats at least. It needs a lot of coats as it is a very, very thin paint.
This red I am painting here was also mixed with the duller additive and saved in a condiment cup. Pre-mixing enables you to touch up areas such as the swoosh much easier. Time to remove the masking tape. The best advice I can give on this part is to remove the tape very, very slowly. Removing it slowly will leave much less of the sticky residue behind. Time for the matte finish. I use Angelus Direct Acrylic Matte Finisher, but there's still a gloss in it and I do not like that gloss on sneakers, so I add a little bit of the duller to that also. Painting the Air Force One box is incredibly fun and also very easy to do. The techniques are identical to customizing shoes. You print out the images you want to paint and use the Sorol transfer paper. And these are the complete Black Widow versus Captain America Avengers Air Force One customs. If you have any questions, reach out to me through my Instagram or my website. Both links are down below. As well links to all the products I use in this video. Big thanks to Angela's Direct for the paints, and thanks guys for watching.